Today is generator maintenance day, and I try to do generator maintenance on my equipment or our equipment once a month. We learned from the last snowmageddon that we had here in Texas that a generator is mission, mission essential. I mean, it is must have. Now, we did not have but one generator when the storm hit. We had this one, and we were able to run the heater inside the house because we went a week without power. Then we went and upgraded to this 13K hybrid system, which actually can power parts of the house. So we had a system hooked up to the house and you just hook it up with this cord here and you turn off all the breakers in your house and you just turn on this, the essentials that you need. Now, had we had this piece of equipment and the transfer switch, we probably wouldn't have lost all our heating. Um, uh, some of the pipes burst in the well and, and a few other things. Now, a lot, my neighbors had a lot worse. They lost their water heaters, two water heaters. They had leaks all over their houses. So we, we had it fairly, fairly okay, but it's because we had this generator here and we ran that for like a week straight until we ran out of gas. And then they also ran out of gas in San Antonio. So then we were in a bind. That's why we opted for the dual fuel. And we have this tank and a the tank double that size. And then if you can see way back there, I have a thousand gallon or 250 gallon tank, which you can, uh, you can fill these smaller ones. I just don't have the attachment yet. And then there's some other pieces of gear that are pretty handy. So you can actually hook up this butane tank to one of these Mr. Buddy heaters or Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. And I ran that in my well house for like a week straight. And I think the tank lasted like four or five days. And I have a system here where I can actually refuel even the green bottles, the butane propane bottles that they sell at the, at the Walmart or wherever. And that's just a simple gadget and I can I can put that later on in the so I'm I'm glad I'm doing maintenance because I found out that this battery here needs to be charged. So really, as you can see there's no there's no power whatsoever. The good thing about this little handy the, the Furman is you can actually pull start it. And there's make sure the choke's on and then there's a little pull here and make sure I don't have it on kill. Feels good button on right, we'll see i know it's loud well, the problem was is i had the fuel turned off so we're gonna let that one run i'm gonna go in and start here i'll turn this one off for a second this one should be fairly easy turn it to propane turn the propane on excuse me that camera angle Battery on, idle control off for now. Breakers off, I think, for now. And then there's a start button. Let's see if it kicks on. Oh, maybe the breakers need to go. I'm gonna let that run for about an hour on both systems. And then I'm going to do some maintenance on some other essential things around the house. And I'll show you the uh, how to plug into the house here in a second. So this here is another system that we have. It's called the Echo Flow. It's 1300, 1800. I'm not too sure. But the Echo Flow is what they call a solar powered battery generator. And this thing here can run. I've taken it camping before. It can run a coffee maker. It can run your TV. When we have power outages around here, for some reason the power goes out, the internet still works. So we can plug this in and it runs the internet and we can watch TVs. Uh, you can charge phones. You can see there, supercharger charges phones. It's a good piece of gear. Now, I mean, it doesn't last forever but it does have a good it has a good battery on it and you can I, I take this out 
and I can use a power saw in the middle of nowhere. I can use the uh, the cord electric 110 chainsaw. And the good thing about this is if you go camping and you buy this piece of gear and you use it for lights and electronics, maybe a stereo or something. I know camping or stereo, I got it. But when you're out doing things during the day, you have a solar panel and it'll charge it. Now I got the 160 watt solar panel, which is was on sale at Black, on Black Friday for, I, I forget the price, but you can look it up. And that'll charge this within a couple of hours. That's pretty sweet. So you plug this, the cord from the solar panel into the solar panel plug here. And the system will turn on. Now it's already charged, but it's, it'll tell you how long it's gonna take to charge. So right now it's 95% charged and 95% it's gonna take well, it's telling you right now like 50 minutes, 49 minutes. Me and, and once it figures out how much sun and it, remember the sun is is going down now. Sorry about that. But it, it'll it'll okay. So about an hour to charge. Five uh, percent. It may it may take less. Once it uh, so this is what it looks like when it's set up. Right here, as long as there's no obstructions. Now this system here will probably cost you about, I don't know, 1200 bucks maybe. But it's well worth it. My, I even, my dad even bought one when he saw this. So we have two of these in the family. And we, we, we've taken that one, my dad's hunting, several times already. And my brother took it on horseback, <laughs> believe it or not on his pack horse and out in the middle of nowhere and they loved it. So that is all we have from That's Sun Farm. We're talking about battery power and generator power, backup power generation. And any other thing I can think of, I'll, I'll put in uh, a separate video. That is all. Thank you. Thanks for watching.